cut. Hey everyone, Templar74 here with another episode of Poke Talk. And today's episode of Poke Talk is going to be my review of the latest episode of Pokemon Pocket Monsters 2019, episode 19. I am Ditto. And I gotta be honest with you guys, this episode was a very simple Team Rocket focused episode, which is always a good thing when Team Rocket gets a focused episode, which was a bit of a surprise from what I was expecting. But even though it was a simple episode, it was a good episode in my opinion. I enjoyed the episode and it was just a nice little episode here. Team Rocket episodes usually have the reputation of either you love them or you hate them. I'm personally in the camp where the Team Rocket focused episodes are usually one of the better ones in my opinion. That's held true for every series so far. And this one, eh, it was an okay Team Rocket episode. It's not one of the fantastic ones like we got last series. But still a good episode nonetheless. But we'll talk about all that soon enough. So, at risk of further rambling, let's move on to the actual episode. So the episode begins with how else a go capture. I know that's one of my big criticisms of this entire series here. But I guess, hey, we gotta start the episode somewhere. And we see Go starting the episode with a catch of Ratatata. I mean, I guess there is that. But anyway, after catching Ratatata, Ash and Go visit a movie studio where a Gardevoir movie is being made, with one of the Gardevoir being a Ditto, who no matter what Pokemon it transforms into, can't get the likeness exactly right. And that plays a big part of the episode, and we see a bit more of this later on. But while this is going on, we also learn that the movie is being made by a producer who is a perfectionist, a very irritable perfectionist because it gets extremely angry at Ditto every time it messes up, yells at it. You know, one of those things, an overly demanding perfectionist, which you expect that in the movie industry, but I mean, it poor Ditto. I really did feel bad for Ditto with that. And with that said, we turn to Team Rocket, who were also thrown out of the same movie studio by security, and after being thrown out, they're discouraged. They head back to their lair, and they're now walking the streets of the city, while Ditto, who has just run away from the movie production because of this irritable producer yelling at it, Ditto is now on the run from its trainer, and it ends up finding its way into Jesse's bag. In fact, it's up in the tree, and it jumps into Jesse's bag, which goes unnoticed by Team Rocket until they get back to their lair where they realize, hey, here's a Ditto. And now Team Rocket, they are very interested in Ditto's potential here and what it can do for them. But when they see that Ditto can't get its transformations exactly right, Team Rocket takes it upon themselves to help Ditto. And this is what I loved about the episode. Team Rocket, you know, they're the bad guys here. I use bad guys in loose quotes. But seeing something like this, they do legitimately try to help Ditto. Even though they have ulterior motives behind it, they still try to help Ditto. And they're really kind with Ditto and trying to help Ditto here. So, you know, you got to love that. So Team Rocket are going to help Ditto with its skills here. And we even see them go so far as to pull pranks on the local kids here where they've got this thing set up where they put a Pokemon under the box. Ditto's under the other box. And one Pokemon disappears. Ditto's right there. However, again, Ditto can't get the transformations exactly right, so everybody catches on to it real quick. So Team Rocket, they're really trying to help Ditto master this. And as the day goes on, Team Rocket are found by Ash and Go, who take Team Rocket on and rescue Ditto in a battle here. And I also got to say this, Go's Raboot apparently has pulled a page from Ash's Charmeleon. Remember when Ash's Charizard was a Charmeleon, it didn't want to listen, and even when it was a Charizard at first, it didn't want to listen, it did its own thing. Raboot here is going through this same streak where it just does what it wants and it's not really listening to go. So that is another interesting point here. What is it with fire types and having the stubborn streak of not wanting to listen to their trainers? I don't know, maybe that's just a fire type characteristic, but it kind of plays into the Raboot being the arrogant teenager of its evolutionary line, in my opinion, but uh, that's a discussion for another day. So anyway, now that Ditto has been rescued from Team Rocket, Ditto returns to the Gardevoir movie where it nails the role thanks to what it learned from Team Rocket. And seeing this pleases the director immensely. This perfectionist director is thrilled. He's moved by it. And that's where the episode leaves off as we see Ditto mastering its role here and ultimately pleasing its trainer and pleasing the movie producer. Thanks to the 
thanks to the lessons it's learned from Team Rocket. So again, very nice touch here. Like I said, the Team Rocket episodes are either hit or miss. Uh, I preferably enjoy them. They, uh, they're, I'll be honest, the Team Rocket focused episodes are usually some of the better ones in my opinion. This one was a simple episode, so not a great heartfelt Team Rocket episode like the ones we had in the last series, but this episode was still a good episode in my opinion. It was a simple episode, it was a good episode. Overall, I give the episode a seven out of 10. It was a good episode, not a great episode, but a simple and good episode, and those are always nice every once in a while. And Team Rocket focused episodes are nice every once in a while, in my opinion. But anyway, with that being said, everybody, in the comments section down below, let me know what your guys' thoughts were about this week's episode. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you think it was just eh there? What were your thoughts? Just let me know in the comment section down below, because as always, I enjoy hearing from you. All right, everyone, as always, Templar74 signing off. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.